Hi y'all, today we are gonna put a little swing into our design. So let's head over to Canva and I will show you how to create this custom animation. So the first thing you're gonna need to do is go over to your elements and pick out what you need to use for this. So if you're gonna do the circles, I used a circle frame. I also used a string right here, which is a rope knot illustration and a plain old circle. So what I want to do is get everything set up first. So what I want to do is set up my frame. Um, I'm going to need more than one circle. So I'm going to put one circle over to the side. I'm going to change this circle over to this gradient right here. And then I'm just going to change it to where it's at the top. And maybe I am going to take that and I'm going to darken it up a little bit just to make it look like a hole. So if you're using a different color background, just make sure you use your second color right here at the, whatever color your background is, because that's going to how we're going to make the little hole in your, your frame. So that looks like there's a hole in your frame for the rope to go through. And then what you want to do right here is you want to make this as big as you can for the moment, because what you're going to do is you're going to crop this. So I'm going to make this. A little bit smaller so I can make this a little bit bigger so I can see it and then I'm gonna make it let's just move that out of the way and so we can make this whole page bigger and we're gonna do this and I'm gonna go in and I am going to flip this around because I want that as the top and then I am going to make a duplicate because I need two of these and then I'm gonna crop one about halfway through the hoop like so and then one can go over the top like so and then you put the other one on top of that like that and then your position for your full one would be behind that there and that makes it look like it's looped in there so that's how we get that so now we have our string and our our frame all together the way we want it we're going to group those together and now we have our string and you can fix it that or if you want to you can go ahead and let's ungroup that real quick if you need to make your circle bigger just make your circle bigger however you want to do it the design is up to you so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make sure they're all grouped together I'm going to reduce the size of this for the moment so here's where your other circle comes into play so if we sit there and we twist this like this if you see the center of this is right in here. You can see that access point. So if you try to swing it now, it's just going to swing from the center and all of that, the top's going to move. That was my problem in the beginning. So what I want to do is change the access point. To do that, what you want to do is you're going to take a circle. You want your circle to kind of hit the bottom of this. Your axis is going to be at the end of your string. So you want it will cross right at the end. So when you see the cross come across, oh, let me, come on, baby, show me my cross. So that's the end of the string, but we really want that cross a little bit higher. So you're going to make like some big circles here. So we got this big circle. I'm going to take it and put it behind here. I'm going to take that and I'm going to group it together. And then I'm going to click on that circle and I'm going to make it transparent. And then I'm going to test my swing. So let's put it up here and test my swing. So does it look like it's going? Well, it looks like it's a lot of movement still up there at the top. I want to try to eliminate that movement as much as possible. So what I need to do is change my circle. So what I want to do is ungroup these. I'm going to take my circle. I'm going to put it as a color again so I can see it. And then I am going to make it bigger. And anything you're going to want to swing or anything where you want to access point like that and change it, you want it at the center there and let's try that one we're going to group that together again what we can do you can leave that color on there if you want to and see that axis point see how it changes that x ax axis point so now we can go here and see see now it's more staying towards the top i could probably even make this bigger to change make that axis axis i'm having a hard time with that word y'all i am sorry and do it from the bottom it's hard let's change that color of this thing because that's that same green down there 
So if I want to center this at the top, that purple's not good to see that, y'all. All right, so now, and see that's at the bottom? Let's group those together. So if you anything you're going to do, that's what you want to do. So now see how that's in the center? And it looks like it's swinging. That's how y'all got to do it. So, and then we can put it at the top, or we need to make it bigger, make it bigger, whatever you want to do, but you need that axis. So what I'm going to do is turn this back to transparent, and now I have it. And then what you can do is make as many as you want. So you can just go over here. The reason I put this in the front when I grouped it together is so I can easily slide uh, photos in. So like I can take a photo and just slide that in. So, and the other thing you want to do is go into position. Now that you have your first one, you can make as many as you want. You're just going to go in here. You're going to duplicate it. Come on over. Get your photos. That one is a, that one's not a photo, a full photo. Let's go with a full photo here. Go to that, and then we'll just duplicate that. And then drag something out. Ooh, let's make some sparkles. Some sparkles, whatever you want to want to do. Now, here comes where you want to animate. So you got these here. Let's go in and kind of line these up. So it's going to be hard to line them up because the circles are so big. So you're going to have to rely on your positions to move stuff. So you're going to have to your layers tab. So that's going to be a biggie because as you can see, there's the circles are so big, it's going to be hard for you to move stuff because this is actually a whole, like, big, huge element now. So what do we want to do is we're going to duplicate that page. And then let's say I want to take the outside one and swing that first. So you're going to take your, go up here. You might going to have to make it smaller so you can get a good swing on it. Swing it up. And then duplicate the page. We're going to grab it again swing it down i did a, like a little bump to make them swing more so like a more of a natural swing so and then when i got to that one i swing it again and then we'll go back and let it rest so now what i want to do is i'm going to go in between these and i want to put match and move between all of these now that you have match and move let's put it between all the pages you want to go and see how your swing looks so let's make the, get this up here Go away. We're going to make this big so we can see. So what you want to do now is you want to play through. And you want to go slow. So if it doesn't look very natural or it's swinging too slow, see how that second swing was kind of slow? Just move your timing up. Just start shortening your timing up to get that swing looking more natural. So you're going to want to play with your timing, but just kind of move it gently every time. To, so there's not no stopping point in between. So we're going to take that swing and go there and see how there's still like a little bit of a natural stop there. Let's not stop. We want a full continuous swing. So if we play through there, it's going to go up. We're going to have it. See, it's a little stop there. So if it stops there, we're going to back it up a little bit. And we're just going to, you're just going to keep manipulating your, your, your seconds on there to get that swing kind of looking more natural. So, and that's how you do it. And you grab them and swing them any way you want to. The other thing I was playing with earlier with the circle. Now, to do the access point on your circles. So, let's see. What was this thing? So, like something like this. I was playing, this, playing with this on a door. So, we'll use our circle. But if you notice here, the center point is not in the center. So you're going to have to do something more like this. So when you do it, I'm going to put my circle behind this. I'm going to go into position, and then I'm going to try to center my circle up, the center point of my circle, and try to do it manually because this piece right here technically isn't in the center. So what I would want to do with this would be group it together, and then I would just kind of duplicate the page and then kind of test it out to see if that centerpiece does not move correctly. And if it does, I would just keep kind of moving my circle around until I can find a good natural center spot for it, for it to, 
So if I have to move it over a little bit or something like that to see if that turn, let me delete that first page and then group these together, duplicate the page and then try that turn again and see if it's seeing. See, I moved it over the wrong way. See how the, the top is still moving? So something like this, you would have to take more time and figure out where you really want to, that circle to be to find your access point. So we know this is the center of the circle. So let's try to make this circle bigger and then try to get that in the center of this, of this little do jammy, whatever you tack. All right. So let's group that together and we'll delete this one. I mean, I know I'm going on a little bit of a tangent, but this is a cool little trick to use and it's a good learning curve to try to just try to learn this little trick to do other things with. Oops, I did not mean to delete. Y'all know me. I'm like a delete queen when it comes to this stuff. So I'm going to try again. And now look, it's more centered. So what I wanted to do earlier, we're going to delete that page because I like this circle. So I'm going to make that circle invisible. And what I did was, let's go into elements. Where is that thing? I used like a door. I made that big. Let me put this on top. And I put that kind of in the center and then I kind of watched it. So you see the pin is kind of staying in the center right there. And I put some words on here. I put some text on here. Let's just do that. Make it a little bit smaller. Move it in here. Shrink it down a little bit. Go on effects. Put a little bit of a curve on it. Not that way, of course. Put it this way. Like so. Let's see if that's good. Turn it like that. And then what I did is go into position. And I hit my control key to group those two together. Group those together. And then what I did was duplicate the page. So with this, I had one going this way. Started off this way. And then my second one, I had it going the opposite way. So if you got something that's just swinging back and forth, all you need is two pages. Honestly, that's all you need. So we're going to grab the same here and just put that between the, the same pages. I'm going to remove it between this one because it's two different animations. But what you want to do is just go look at it and see how your swing goes. And then you like your swing. You duplicate the first page, put it behind there. Why is my animation not traveling? Please travel. And just duplicate each page. Just go back and forth with all of them. Go through here and watch your swing and do the same thing. So you can just go there and see that's too much time. So we're going to shake and shorten our time up and go look and see because I wanted a smooth back and forth. I could smooth that out just a hair bit more. We're going to take it and watch it again. And that's all you got to do is you just keep backing the, the timer up. See how it's pausing there? Back it up. What's that 1.9? Let's try it about 1.8, 1.9 on this one. And come on, Canva, give me that. Let's get that out of the way to make this bigger. And let's go and see. And if you just have something like that you're going back and forth with, all you really need is two frames. And all you're going to do is just make your first two and then just duplicate and alternate them. And then you'll have it go back and forth. So you can have something right there that's swinging back and forth just like that. And that's how you do a swing animation. I hope I was helpful. I love you guys. I'm glad you stopped by. I will see you on the next one, hopefully. Bye, y'all.